I tried to beat you, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks, and now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my bestest, and nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some. I won't hesitate no more. No more, it cannot wait. I'm yours. All stand, please. Family and friends, we're gathered in this place of beauty to unite together Kyle Tomaziki and Sarah Boynton in the bonds of holy matrimony. They've asked each of us to join them here this afternoon to not only witness this beautiful expression of their love, but also to bless this couple as they begin their new life and journey together as husband and wife. And now I ask who here presents this beautiful bride to be married to this man? you would take hands if you would please you may be seated folks All right. friends and family we are gathered here today in the sight of God in the presence of friends and loved ones to celebrate one of life's greatest moments to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love and to add our best wishes and blessings to the words which shall unite Kyle and Sarah in holy matrimony. Marriage brings together great and greater pa possibilities in, in uh, happiness than any other human relationship. I know that marriage between a man and a woman is ordained of God, and that the family is central to the Creator's plan for the, etern the eternal destiny, destiny of His children. In Genesis 2, verse 18, it says, And the Lord God said, it is not good that a man should be alone. I will make for him a helpmate. In Matthew 19, verse 5 says, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. Marriage is a most honorable estate, created and instituted by God, and it is an essential part of the essential plan, signifying unto the blessed union, which also rests between Christ and his church. So too, May this marriage be adorned by true and abiding love. Marriage is the foundry of social order, the fountain of virtue, and the foundation of eternal exaltation. Marriage has been divinely designated as an eternal and everlasting covenant. Marriage is sanctified when it is cherished and honored in holiness. That union is not merely between husband and wife. That union is merely uh, also with the Lord in partnership with God. Husband and wife have a solemn responsibility to love and to care for each other. Children born of that marital union are a heritage of the Lord. Marriage is but the beginning bud of family life, and parenthood is its flower. <clears throat> Families may become an eternal, as eternal as the kingdom of God itself. When you as a husband and wife recognize the divine uh, design of your union, when you feel deeply that God has brought you to each other, which I know the two of you have, your vision will be expanded 
and your understanding will be enhanced. And as you travel through life together, and that journey is exciting each and every day, I caution you to remember that the true measure of success, the true avenue of joy and peace, is to be found within the love that you hold in your hearts for one another and also for your love for the Lord Jesus Christ. I would ask that you hold tightly to one another and your faith in your Savior. Within the scriptures, we are told the beautiful truth that God is love. We are assured that love conquers all. It is love which brings you here today, of course, in the union of two hearts and two spirits. As your lives continue to inter interweave as one pattern, remember that it, is what, it was love that brought you here today. It is love that will make this a glorious union, and it is love which will cause this union to endure. Wilfred Patterson, or Peterson, um, has a great passage here, a poem that says, The Art of a Good Marriage, and I'll share that with you at this time. The little things are the big things. It has never been too old to hold hands, so continue to do that. It seems like a small thing, but it's a certain important thing to do. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day, if not many times more. It's important to share your love together. It is never going to sleep angry with one another. It is never taking the other for granted. Basically, the courtship should not end with the honeymoon, but the courtship should continue throughout your lifetime together. So uh, what that means uh, for you guys, you need to take a, on a date every week for Sarah, okay? <laughs> it's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives that will make the difference in your relationship. It is standing together, facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. And it is doing things for each other, not in an attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways that will make the difference for the two of you. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo <laughs> or the wife to have wings of an angel. It is not looking for perfection in the other, in other words. It is cultivating just the opposite, flexibility patience, kindness, understanding, and certainly a sense of humor is important. It is, a, it is having a, the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful in the other. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, and the obligation to one another is reciprocal and I think more than anything I could say about having a partnership it's not it's more than just finding each other uh, it's much more about being the right partner for the other that will make the difference and as you seek the Lord Kyle to be the best husband that you know how to be the Lord will bless you and you to, in turn will be a blessing to Sarah and Sarah as you seek the Lord to be the best wife that you know how to be that God will see that your heart he will bless you and give you the tools to be the best wife that you know how to be as well to Kyle and so it is established in that way. <clears throat> so at this time, I'd ask you to take the right hand of each other, okay? <laughs> yeah. And Kyle, if you look into the eyes of your Sarah, Kyle, do you take Sarah as your lawfully wedded wife, and do you, of your own free will and choice, covenant, uh, as her companion and lawfully wedded husband, that you will cleave unto her and none else, and that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live. You say, I do. I do. And now, Sarah. Sarah, do you take Kyle <clears throat> as your lawfully wedded husband, and do you and your own, of your own free will and choice uh, covenant as this uh, com companion and lawfully wedded wife that you will cleave unto him and none else, and that you will observe all the laws, the covenants, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live. I do. All right. There is a legend of the wedding band. I want to share that with you at this time. <laughs> In a fair and far-off country many centuries ago, a kind young king was married to a princess he loved too. Together they lived happily until one day um, beauty's worst enemy would force the king to travel far away. And one night before he left, as he walked through the, throughout the garden in the palace, he tossed into a moonlit pool some pebbles that he had found. 
And as the lovely ripples widened from where the little pebbles fell, the king stood thinking quietly of the wife he loved so well. And remembering the next day the surface he had seen, he had a gold ring made to fit the finger of the queen. And there is no ending or beginning to the circle of this band. And the king said to his wife as he slipped it on her hand, and that's why I have chosen this golden ring to, the, to be the pledge that you, that my love will last throughout eternity. And so since then, a gold ring has been the symbol of beauty, devotion, and endless love. And may all the love and happiness that the two of you have found together may be rich for you. And like the circle of the wedding band, it goes on and on forever. And at this time, if I can have the rings. Okay, very good. And now, Kyle, you may <clears throat> place the token of marriage covenant on Sarah's wedding ringer at this time, the finger. <laughs> and Sarah, you may also place this token of your marriage covenant on Kyle's wedding ring finger. All right, go ahead and take hands. These rings shall act as a reminder constantly of your unending circle of happiness and love for one another. Now at this time, I'm going to have you come over in this area to the sand table, if you would. You've just sealed your relationship by the giving and receiving of these beautiful rings. This is a covenant pledge between two people who agree that they will give themselves to one another throughout their lifetime. The most beautiful example of this partnership is the marriage relationship. And tonight, it is symbolized to the pouring of these two individual containers of sand one representing you, Sarah, and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. The other representing you, Kyle, and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. And as you pour these vessels of sand into the third, these are the vessels of sand will no longer exist, but we join together as one. And our thoughts and our prayers for you tonight and for always is that your lives together as husband and wife would be longer than the time it would take to separate out each and every individual grain of sand. It's a long time, isn't it? Why don't you take a few moments, okay? By virtue of the legal authority vested in me by the state of Florida, I pronounce you, Kyle and Sarah, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless your union with joy and your posterity and a long life of happiness together. And may he enable you to keep sacred the covenants that you have made today. These blessings I evoke upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You may now kiss. You're as husband and wife, <laughs> okay? Yay! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you may take your wife, your husband and wife by the arm there. Gives me great pleasure to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Tomaziki. Congratulations. Yay!
Do you hear me I'm talking to you across the water, across the deep blue ocean, under the open sky? Oh my, baby, I'm trying. Boy, I hear you in my dreams. I feel you whisper across the sea. I keep you with me. Okay, everybody, in make my some noise heart. for the video. You make it easy.
get the two of you dancing that way, lost in the moment, each other's face. So much in love, you're alone in this place, like there's nobody else in the world. I was enough for her that long ago. I was her number one. She told me so, and she still means the world to me, just so you know. So be careful when you hold my girl. Time changes everything, life must go on. I'm not gonna stand in your way. I loved her first, I held her first, and a place in From the first breath she breathed, when she first smiled at me, I knew that I would find the wrong scheme. And I prayed that she'd find you someday, but it's still hard to give her away. I love you first. Taking chances, but they're worth taking. 
Loving might be a mistake, but it's worth making. Don't let some helping heart leave you bitter. When you come close to selling out, reconsider. Give the heavens above more than just a passing glance. And when you get the choice to sit it out. Yeah, right. It just doesn't feel good. 